really. I'm barely out there on the streets. Well, you think their jobs are immoral, don't you? Oh, yes. It's very wrong to threaten people with uh, the stealing of their cars if they don't pay this arbitrary demand. And so, you know, when they testified earlier to being afraid uh, on the streets and being anxious about wherever the Robin Hooders might be, well, it's like a little taste of their own medicine in that case because the people of Keene are always afraid of where they are. I mean, don't people think about their, the, the people who are getting the tickets? That's why I'm out there. I want to help those people and stop them from getting tickets. I'd move to strike the remainder of that answer, Judge, is not responsive. Your Honor, I would object. Um, to the moving strike on the grounds that it is certainly responsive to the type of question that is where you're asking someone about their ideology where it's not responsive to a yes or no. But, Your Honor, I'd also like to raise a broader point. I don't want to call it an objection. Or we'll Can we approach the bench? Yes, yes. yes. that would be good. But I'm going to give Mr. Freeman the opportunity to, re to respond so the motion to strike is denied. <clears throat> the most effective way for you is to be about 15 feet or so in front of a PEO, Linda or Jane, maybe 10 feet. Isn't that the most effective way? No, I'm, actually it would be more effective if I knew they weren't going to play games and try to change directions. I could be more than that uh, direct, you know, f further away. But yes, as of the current status, being about 15 feet is, uh, is the most effective because they can always change directions. Right. If they were going to go on a predetermined path, then I could be further away from them. You said that back two, th two years ago and you say it today, correct? That's correct. I think you testified you don't like to um, invade people's space, right? Yeah, I have no interest in invading personal space. That's not invading space? She's That's got plenty of space. space. Okay, Mr. Freeman, you have, to, you have to let Attorney Bauer finish the question. I'm sorry, I no, thought no he asked it. No problem. Just for the record, we're going to roll the uh, oh. video.
back of your truck and drive away, didn't you? I did say that. But were you going to ask me a question about distance? Isn't that the reason you were playing that? Further direct examination? Um, I would like to comment on that since he played oh, it for wait, the purpose wait, wait. of. Oh, wait. Are you, are you finished with your... I don't have any further questions. Well, yeah, ju Ian, just in, in regard to this most recent clip here, um, how far away were you approximately? Well, let me ask you this. You, you can see there's a sidewalk, and you testified that there's a lawn, strip right. of lawn, and then the road. When you're taking these videos, um, are you on the sidewalk or on the lawn? I'm on the lawn. And further, when we watched that video just now, you saw that at one point she was closer to the fence in the beginning of the, the video, so on the other side of the sidewalk from, from me where I was on the grass. At one point, two females jog by between us on the sidewalk. So there's enough room, you know, even if you thought I was still on the sidewalk and I wasn't at, at any point uh, until I got off the grassy area later on in the video, two females jog by. And then after that, Linda gets closer to me. She closes the gap. So obviously she wasn't too uncomfortable. Now, she does walk back and forth, essentially, correct? Multiple times. At any point during this video, does she ever back away from you? Um, if anything, she got closer to me, as I, as I just pointed out. And at any point in terms of, again, just your, your Robin Hooding activity since October 2013, has either of the park enforcement officers ever asked you to back away from them in terms of physical space? No, I've never had that happen. I have no further questions. Sir. Further cross-examination? You've hemmed her against the fence, haven't you? No, sir. There's a fence in this video, in this still, at, uh, what is the number? 218. At 218, you've hemmed her against the fence, haven't you? No, absolutely not. There's, you're not plugging any meters here, are you? That's correct. The meters are behind me, so I'm protecting them you're by virtue. You're not blogging here, are you? I did blog this video later in the day, as a matter of fact. You're not, um, uh, doing, you're not trying to shut down the government here, are you? Of course not. Uh, at this point, I'm just questioning a government agent. Right. You're, t you're, um, you're taunting her, aren't you? No, absolutely not. You're harassing her, aren't you? No, sir. It is not harassing to ask an agent questions. And there's no reason for you to be within that proximity but to be bothersome. If you consider uh, asking someone questions as per the Eighth Amendment to the New Hampshire Constitution that an, in a government agent must be open and accountable, if you consider that bothersome, then that's certainly your opinion, sir. But I consider it my right to inquire of government officials. And if I'm going to inquire of a government official, I need to be within listening distance so I don't have to shout at them. And I was not in any way in her personal space, as was seen by two women side by side jogging between us. From your point of view, were you bothersome to Lynn during her job hours? That would be a question to ask Lynn. I'm asking you. I don't know what Lynn would say, but I would presume she would say that she was bothered by that. She certainly acted that way. Thank you, Mr. Deputy, Mr. Freeman. Any additional witnesses for the defense? Well, I should ask counsel to approach. It's like a two-minute. That's I, that's why I was. I know that it was the purpose for the purpose that we we talked about earlier. I'll take a short recess and then we'll we'll.